Tech in Jacksonville, Florida. Today we're going to be testing end put or end play on the input shaft of the of this uh, manual transmission from an '89 Ford Ranger. Uh, we're checking to see how much the input shaft moves in and out of the actual housing uh, against the um, against the output shaft. And so basically, what you want to do is move it in and out. And you're looking for any movement on the micro on the uh, the runout gauge here. We actually don't have any here, which means the um, which means it's too tight. The shims are too thick behind this plate here. Um, if you have too much end play, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to be wiggling around too much, and it could possibly throw it out of gear while you're driving down the road. And if you have too little, it's not going to be properly lubricating the bearings. You're going to spin a bearing, you know, bust it up, and it's it's not good for anything. You end up having to open it up and change it out. So yeah, as you can see, we don't have any here. What we're going to have to do is go into this plate here, and right around this inner ring here is going to be a set of shims or a single shim, which in the case of it being a single shim, we're going to take it out and replace it with multiple smaller shims in order to get it back to manufacturer specification and roadworthiness. So that is end play on the input shaft of a manual transmission.